everybody, welcome back to Coach with Jenna. I'm super excited to be talking with you guys about this. Um, I actually, this is something that's really been on my mind lately and just something that I've seen a lot of people talk about. So I'm going to talk about it and share with you guys my personal opinion, what I think about it, and my own experience. So there is a lot of talk being like talked about on TikTok and like even in person that like people are being shamed and put down for working nine to five jobs. And in my opinion, I don't judge people. Like I don't, at the end of the day, if you are happy, that's all that matters. So like to me, I don't think there isn't, there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five job. I think the problem in our society when it comes to these conversations is that people need to be more aware of the risks that they have, whether you are building a business or work, or working a nine to five doesn't matter what you do for a living you're always going to have risks and a lot of people need to be aware of that and they need to understand that working a nine to five job yes you have a guaranteed salary or a guaranteed wage that's great but you're also only making a certain amount with a business you're unlimited when you build a bit and it also depends on the business if you're if you're building a cafe like an actual franchise business like starbucks or like tim hortons or like an actual business that's like that requires like a place to rent that's a different type of business than working from home being a life coach being a business coach being a fitness coach or you know working from Arbon or working for it works or the marketing you know whatever it is there's a huge difference between a job that or a business that is online and a business that is a franchise like a coffee shop with a business online is like yes your money is basically based on how much clients you have and that's basically it you have to rely on that so the only risk I would say with that is you're not guaranteed it until you have at least a regular regular until you have a good set of clients every month that is giving you that guaranteed income you're not it's there's that risk. So I can understand why maybe some people find that scary, but you're also like your um, your amount of income you can make is unlimited. So I think it's just you got to people got to decide what's worth it to them. Like for me right now, because I'm in the baby steps of my business, I want to have a side job. I want to have a part-time job that, you know, if I can't 100% make a certain amount of money right away with my business, I have that. So like that's the way I'm doing it is until I have enough clients, until I have enough money every month coming in from my business, I'm going to stay at a part-time job as long as I can because, and I think that's another thing to keep in mind is like if you are someone that's interested in building a business or you have thought about it or you have maybe a passion for it, I would definitely suggest making sure you do have like a side job where you, where you have that guaranteed income while you're building your business because, and I think the problem is why people fear, you know, building businesses and why people get judged for also, because people that are entrepreneurs and build businesses also get a lot of ju judgment. So it's not, you know what I mean? Like we also get a lot of judgment because people either don't understand it or people just, they think it's a pyramid scheme when pyramid schemes are actually illegal. And I think that more people need to do more research. Like Arbonne is not a pyramid scheme. Like affiliate marketing and multi-level marketing are two different things, are different. Like they're, they're different. And like being a life coach is completely separate from selling products online. Like for me, I love Arbonne, I love the products but the business was not for me. But I also have friends that love it and are good at it and they are thriving. So like, I think it really depends on your personality and like the kind of thing that you really want. And so for me, I want kids. I want kids in a few years. I wanna build a family. I wanna take my kids to Disneyland. I want, I wanna eventually get a house with my partner. Like I want to, I don't expect to be rich, but I do want a financial, financially free life for me, my, my kid, my future kids. And I want to be able to, I don't want to be stuck living paycheck to paycheck. I want to build a life of freedom for myself. I want to be able to be my own boss. It's for me, 
The income is definitely part of it, but it's for me, my ultimate goal is to be able to be a stay at home mom, be able to work from home, afford a babysitter while I'm doing my business and be able to have kids in a few years. My goal is to work from home and be my own boss and be able to create my own schedule and be able to make an impact, right? Like there's, and I think the problem is, at least in my experience, is a lot of people, a lot of the reasons why people actually quit businesses and life coaching or multi-level marketing is because their only goal is to make the money. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to make money. Like, you know, we all have to survive, but if your only goal is to make money with your business, you will fail. You will never ever succeed. Unless you have a really hardworking mindset, like it depends on how desperate you are to, or like how much you really want to make money. Like, but a lot of people give up because, oh, well, I'm not making money right away. Like you have to have a genuine passion for what you're doing, not just the money. And I think that as a society, if you are someone that's going into business, we need more people that are, have more of a reason behind it. Like I, yes, the money is, is great. It's great to be able to be, have that financial freedom. It's probably a lot less stressful, but my ultimate goal is to make a difference and to be able to work from home and create a financial free in life for my future kids and just be able to create my own schedule and, and, you know, make an impact for people. So when it comes to building a business, you definitely have to have a specific mindset for it. And I think that's one of the reasons why most people quit and I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Like I've already, I just became a certified life coach and I am like, yeah, I have, starting to have clients now, which is great, but it's, it's hard. Like I have to balance my own personal life with my clients and with my job. And I'm probably about to possibly work a full-time job and do this. So I will tell you, it is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I still, I still manage to prioritize my mental health and stuff, which is great. But I'm telling you right now, building a business is the hardest thing you will ever do. It is, it is as time consuming as having a child. Different challenges, but it takes the same amount of time. Like if you are not staying consistent with it, you are not going to be successful. Like you have, I mean, yes, you have to definitely have time to yourself too. Like making sure that you're definitely showing up as your best self in order to do that. I do believe that, you know, you kind of, people need their like, zen time their time to just like relax for a bit and like recharge their soul but yeah if you don't have the mindset of working hard then I definitely don't think the business is for you like but it like I said you have to have a passion for it you have to have the desire and you have to have more of a reason than just making money most of the time for you to stay consistent be able to do it um and for me I trust me, there's been days where I've cried and I'm like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to be successful? Like even I, like I have days too, where it's like, this is so hard. Like, but you know what? I'm not going to give up because my number one motivation is having a, a kids. I've always dreamed of being a mom and I'm getting to that age now where I'm like, I want to start a family soon. I'm 26 now and I, I would like to have kids in my early thirties, if not a little bit earlier. So that is my biggest motivation is being able to build a family and afford a house and, you know, have a family that I can build with my partner and build a great life for them and myself. So that's honestly the, my biggest purpose to doing this is I have that mindset is that I don't let it be an option for me to quit. I choose to do this and I choose to never give up. I choose to stay consistent because my end goal is worth it. And I think that, yeah, like you really have to have like an ultimate end goal to doing what you do. Um, and you know what? Some people can manage having kids on a nine to five job and that's great, but sometimes it's really tight for them, especially in the world we live in. Like it's so getting more expensive. So it's just something to keep in mind, right? Is that whether you're working a nine to five or a business, you're, they both have risks. So you just got to choose which one you're willing to take. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope this helped and I'll see you guys next time on Coach with Jenna. Bye.